Types of businesses prepare to reopen in the future when the state further relaxes the New York pause orders. More of them are looking for information on how they can operate. Outside of some rough guidelines about capacity, cleaning and social distancing, the state has yet to establish specific rules for many businesses. Our Dave McKinley is looking at that tonight. As barbershops and beauty salons are included in phase two, it won't be that much longer before you can go into a place like this and get your hair cut. But what will it be like in here when you're able to do that? Last week on the day the Finger Lakes reopened under phase one, it was the same day the governor announced barbershops and salons would be included in phase two. Batavia barber Greg Phillips was pretty excited at the prospect of resuming work on May 29th under conditions of which he was uncertain. I don't know all the stipulations, but whatever we're going to have to do, we'll abide by it and we'll get people in the chairs. Today we called him to see if he's gotten any clarification. He says no. How eager are you to get clear direction from the state? Desperate, almost. He imagines he'll have to wear a mask to cut your hair and that you might have to wear one while he's doing it. He imagines perhaps that only one customer will be allowed in at a time and the steps he'd take to ensure that we may even have individual clients wait in the parking lot until the next client is out the door in Arizona one of several states far ahead of New York and reopening its economy there are salons where there's plexiglass between clients he doesn't know if he'll have to go that far but he'd like to know and to obtain what he needs whatever that may be like the disposable capes he thinks he might have to acquire I'd go on eBay or Amazon but they're two or three weeks backed up or out of stock so would I be able to open up without those would I be able to you know, substitute something for uh, for each individual client. Much like the way you could wear a bandana to suffice as a required face covering, he wonders if he'll be able to cut a hole in a garbage bag and put that over top of a client. Coming up next hour, what will it look like inside of gyms like this one when they're allowed to reopen? In Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.